Hey, I'm Scotty T from Your Comedy Minute. I have one of my favorite comedians with me, Kara Amores, here for a second time. Kara, thank you for coming back. Hey, Scotty T, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm if you so remember last time, here. I told you I feel like a woodpecker in a, in a lumber yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I couldn't get in a word in edgewise last time. Jeez, oh, you're supposed geez, to be it's interviewing me. There. You know? I read it there. Let me tell you, it's in the Bible. Okay. <laughs> Are you still involved with Recover the Laughter? I'm not. Well, you know, I, it's hard because I'm in Connecticut. He's in New York, you know, and then the okay. pandemic right. hit and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah, and I missed that part because you're in Connecticut now. You used to be in New York, but you found a more. I did. I found love. I found I'm love. so happy for you, Kara. I really yeah. am. Couldn't happen to a nicer lady. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the last time you were here, we talked about you being a chef, but I didn't know that you were a private investigator. I, I thought I told you. I don't tell uh, a well, lot. Well, I'm people. dumb as a bucket of rocks. I smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> There's problems. Well, it's kind of it, it's kind of good that I didn't tell you because now you know I could sneak up on <laughs> it's you. It's new to me. It's new to me. <laughs> do you do you have a good story you can share about being a private investigator? One or two? Oh. Well, you know, people always ask, like, they think because I'm a private investigator, you know, uh, that I'm a decoy for cheating husbands, you know? That's exactly, exactly what I thought. Yeah. Getting a guy to cheat is easy. That's like <laughs> hunting in a zoo. <laughs> I want to get a guy to do something hard, like clean my toilet. <laughs> okay, okay. Or take me shoe shopping. <laughs> Good Lord, yeah. here we go. Guys never want to shop. No, I don't want to shop. Especially no, you don't like to you. shop? You don't like to... I could tell. Look at look at the fucking way you dress. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you don't like to shop. <laughs> more you guys don't like to shop even though we give you those little chairs to sit in, Scotty. Right? <laughs> more, more nerve and a bum tooth. <laughs> Mouth keeps flapping. Gonna get your tongue sunburned. <laughs> Keep my feathers numbered for just such an occasion. <laughs> Who opened the door? I feel a draft. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Alexander. Yeah. You I, talk a, I mean, listen, I did a specific type of private investigation. We did a Oh, so you're finally going to... Okay. <laughs> okay, we're <laughs> back to PI for you at home. Scoring at home. Go ahead. Yeah, we did a trademark counterfeiting. So anything counterfeit except for money. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like pirated so, shoes and, and, and clothing, Gucci stuff, that stuff? Yep, yep. Pocketbooks, uh, watches. Okay, Rolex, yeah. that kind of thing. Okay. Exactly. So wow. um, I, I would pose as a, a shopper, you know, like a- Yeah, yeah, like a, yeah. Like a Midwest, you know, um, housewife that just got off of the bus, you know? <laughs> Where can I get those steak bags? <laughs> Point me in the right direction. I got a, I got a pocket full of cash. <laughs> <laughs> My husband just got me new tits and gave me cash. Where's oh, the pocketbooks? Here she goes. Here she goes again. Here she goes again. <laughs> this thing's gonna com go completely off the rails. I can tell it. <laughs> All right, forget the private investigator. I, I, like you said, I actually did have in my head. That you were, you know, cheating husbands and that kind of thing. That'd be a funny story. Yeah. It, it there's a, not. Know, I mean, listen, you know, it didn't even matter if, if I was trying to find somebody who wanted to cheat or I wasn't trying to find somebody who was going to cheat. <laughs> but let me just tell you. So we did do, actually, we did a high-end guy who was, um, we didn't do a lot of cheating you, husbands. You did a high-end guy? Well, we did a high-end, like, executive. And we, we, okay. we were following his wife to see if she was cheating. And uh, so we were, we had to go into this really high end restaurant, you know, because his wife was cheating and she, you know, you have to get the money shot. Imagine. You know, and you know what, you know what the money shot is, right? Scotty? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we had to act like, you know, we were a couple and we're in the restaurant. We're trying to get, you know, pictures of them like embracing or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So one of the other guys who, you know, because we were we were inside acting like a couple and then there was a bunch of other investigators outside in case right. they leave, you know, and um, she went into the store like across the street 
And one of my guys like puts the camera right up on the glass while she's in the store and she sees him and she goes up to the glass and go and looks at him while he's taking a picture. I'm like, no, you didn't get made asshole. Hello. You just blew our entire cover. I'm like, you, you can't make this shit up, Scott. I, like, I, okay. All right. All right. I, so you started doing comedy, but let's go way back to the beginning you mentioned Mo Alexander and I think 10 days in Atlantic City. Is that right? Oh, my God. Yeah, I did. First of all, have you ever been in a casino? Have I ever been in a casino? Oh, have you done comedy in a casino? No, I have no prostitutes, though. Okay. All right. Well, you can definitely get laid in a casino. <laughs> my son lives in Las Vegas. I oh, know okay. all about casinos and prostitutes. and Sure, sure. Remember last time we were talking about Pornhub, but we'll get to that. Well, that's why I thought my my uh, my my computer wasn't working. I thought maybe I got a virus from from watching porn. I thought that's what was going on. <laughs> my, my computer doesn't download anymore. Oh my god! I know. Well, now so, come on, Mo Alexander, ten days in Atlantic City. So uh, yeah, so you know, you think you you remember made that? It. Are you still with me? Yeah, I am. So you know, you think you've made it, right? So they book you for ten days in Atlantic City, right? And then you realize it's a hell gig. Like was worst. it really? Oh my God! Well, everybody's on those scooters, you know. Everybody's a yeah. hundred, a hundred years old. They're all playing the penny, penny slots. Penny slots. They're all talking through your set. Myrtle, how much did you win? <laughs> did you win today? <laughs> oh my God! Did you get a buck and a quarter? <laughs> yeah. Jesus God. Cash it in for pennies. I mean, through your whole set. So, <laughs> but I met, I met this guy, Mo Alexander. He was my okay. headliner the whole, the whole, I was right. middling. He was a headliner and somebody else was, I, right, I can't right, even right. remember who, who was the MC. And I was working during the day though. I, I had a day job and my laptop shit the bed. So I meet Mo and like day two, I'm like, Mo, my, my computer shit the bed. I got to work. He goes, no problem. You can use my laptop. I only use it at night for porn. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use it during the day for work and I'll take it back at night for porn. I'll, I'll, I'll wipe it off nice for you so you can use it during the day. Okay. So he's, a, he's a great guy. I love him to death. Okay. So, All he, right. He's like a six foot three, huge, I mean, like huge black guy. Right, really? I'm a five foot, hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, I, I, I only know I've never looked him up or anything, but no, that's wow, what a contrast. He's, he's a great guy. So we decide to we, we're together the whole time, like er, all, the whole ten days, we're going everywhere together. Right, you know, I have a car, he doesn't have a car, so I'm taking him out. Right, we're going right. to dinner, blah blah blah. So we go, decide to go to the mall or Target or somewhere. I can't even remember where we went, but we went somewhere right. together. All right. So I decided I want to buy a stereo and I didn't have a shopping cart. So I, I buy it and I said, just put it over your shoulder. I said, just put it over your shoulder and walk out with it. He goes, you're going to get me arrested. He goes, I am a huge black man walking out of a store with a stereo on my shoulder. He goes, Little white girls could do shit like that. Big black men cannot do I go, right, let them right, try right. and stop us. Let them try and stop us. Um, so a good time in Atlantic City, other in other words, the crowds and stuff, but you had a great time. We had a great time. Mo and I had a great time. We've been okay. friends ever since. I love him. I want to move on because last time you had me laughing so hard and you were <laughs> talking. No, and you really did. No, I mean that about your parents and alcohol when you were growing up there was always there was never a shortage of alcohol in our family yeah yeah a lot of love a lot of love for yeah. alcohol a lot of love for alcohol yeah my my family was the same Kara were they sure yeah I had a girlfriend so you know I I was I was uh, raised Catholic okay she was raised Jewish so because she was Jewish she could come for the Catholic holidays, right? Like she could come to our yeah, yeah. Easter, she could come for Christmas, right? right? So she had never celebrated Christmas, you know? So I was like, oh my God, come for Christmas, you know? And she was like, I can't wait. Okay. So she comes for Christmas. 
she doesn't realize, like in her family, nobody nobody drinks like that. My parents are hammered, <laughs> hammered. <laughs> <laughs> they get back in the car. My mother, my father's in driving. My mother's a co-pilot. I mean, she's like, are they going to be okay? To I go, they'll be fine. They're on, <laughs> they're on like, you know, they're on like autopilot. Exactly. Exactly. They know the way home. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I'm like, but don't ever tell your parents because they'll never let you come again. <laughs> never let you come again. She would talk. She, I swear to God, I hadn't seen her in like 30 years. 30 and years. She still talks the about last it. time I spoke to her, she's like, Remember that time I came to <laughs> your Christmas? Parents were... <laughs> and your parents were wasted? I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. It's, is that all you're ever going to see? But, you know, that's what you talk about. Yeah. When you my ask about it, and I, I don't want to talk too much this time, but my earliest memories are hey, go get me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was five. My grandfather had me on his lap, and I was drinking beer. Carlsberg. Oh, really? You know Carlsberg. Yeah. Carlsberg. Carlsberg. I want an elephant malt liquor. Yep. Yeah, I know a little about alcohol. Do you? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh well, I, I, listen, I'm a recovering alcoholic, you know, and it really, it wasn't the alcohol. It was because my alcoholism had a drug problem. You alcohol. Had a drug problem. Yeah, like crack, like crack. Yeah. <laughs> People look at me; they like crack. You don't look like a crack. You'd like crack. You look like you drink wine and drive a minivan. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I did. I I uh, drank wine and drove my minivan right to the crack house. <laughs> oh my God, Carol, you're just killing me today. You're killing me today. I have stuff for I have stuff right now. I don't even know if I'm going to get to it. Could you imagine if I walked into a crack house now? I don't know. You're like, oh my God, five hours. What's here. coming out of your mouth today, Kara? Nothing would surprise me. You could, hell, I, 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 I heard you made a porno at one point. Yeah, it was a little dirty. It was a little dirty. <laughs> I made it with my husband. Okay, yeah. It was hot. It was really hot, though. You know, it was like when we were young and everything was still where it was supposed okay. to be. You All know, right. yeah. It was hot. Yeah, my, yeah. my wife wants to make one, but she's accepting. Uh, she's doing, uh, like, casting for my part. <laughs> That's a smart woman. <laughs> why are you, why are you Iorta? <laughs> oh, my God. I should have done some casting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got sober early though because you are you're joking around but you're really sober right i really am I, i've been sober 33 years yeah 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 see yeah, i thought i'm was... trying to be a little serious yeah i was sober for, yeah but i got sober when i was two <laughs> <laughs> i was sober for 16 years then i turned 17 <laughs> <laughs> how's that very good. I'm trying to match you. We're going back Excellent. and forth. Excellent. I love it. You got it. something else? Go ahead. Get tip for Go tip. Ahead. Well, listen, I didn't have much of a choice, you know, growing up in my family. Like between, you know, the whiskey for teething, wine at communion, beer at <laughs> confirmation. I basically took my 12 steps right into alcoholism being born into my family. <laughs> oh, my God, Karen. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to keep up with you. You're and a listen, professional. My I'm mother just... had turned the glove compartment into a wet bar. I know, I know. I I'm still back at mom and dad driving you and your friend. Come on, that woman. That woman can make rush hour happy hour. <laughs> oh my God, Gary, you're killing me. Uh, <laughs> let's try and be serious for a minute because we're going to get this on the air next week. You got a big show coming up September 27th. Oh yeah. With Vanessa Hollingshead, who Vanessa I'm, came I'm so with. excited. All women's show. Oh, I, I had her on the show, and I was giddy. I didn't sleep for a week. Amazing, I was right? nervous. Amazing. I, Amazing nervous. town. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, she's, she's, she, she's a presence, too. Kind of like you're being. <laughs> it's a wonder. <laughs> <laughs> she's you a lot women, to live up to. You women scare the shit out of me, to be <laughs> honest with you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, can't you see? We got a goddamn situation, you asshole. 
Oh my God! You recently you did an in in, Hang on we're now. We got to get to your copy minute, you, Scotty. You, man, we got it. We got a little bit of work to do yet. You recently did an NC seventeen show, and the tagline said, "If you're if you're scared, go to Bible study." <laughs> <laughs> How was that show? It was dirty. Yeah, I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> No shit. No shit, Karis. <laughs> you know it's going to be dirty when somebody says, so he came on my neck. Oh, <laughs> That's how the show started. What? I'm yeah, sorry, what? well, we, we, we've had some technical difficulties. That's why this is going to be a little short. But you started, before I even started recording, you said something to me that floored me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your balls out of my mouth. <laughs> that's not what you said it was close oh, that wasn't what i said i can't it was close it was close to that um kara listen I, I i loved having you here we've had a little technical difficulties if you want we can we can do another one here in a little bit but i wanted to try and get if you could you know it's called your comedy minute and last time you did some lame animal house bullshit <laughs> Out of all the fucking stories you have, you serve up my favorite movies, Animal it House. Is my favorite movie. I don't give it a took shit. The bomb. That, the that's the best bomb. you got no. out of all you've done. No. Private no. investigator, so, chef woman. I'm going to tell you a funny story. Okay. So when okay. I was in Atlantic City, your comedy minute, Kara Amore, go ahead. So, you know, so that 10 days in Atlantic City really was like a fucking whirlwind. It, it just like, right. so that, you know, when you're in Atlantic City or Vegas, you know, every right. comic, there's a lot of um, casinos. So there's right. a lot of comics there. And it, at the end of the night, we don't all meet um, in a casino. So one night it was um, Max. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield's guy. Yeah, right. Exactly. Rodney, Rodney Dangerfield's guy. And then... Um, Carla Boov, uh, a, a bunch of guys. Anyway, right, right, right. Get, yeah, and they're telling Rodney Dangerfield stories. Like, I mean, like one you, after, the after the other, after the other, after the other. And yeah. I'm just sitting there in awe. Like, I, I couldn't even believe the stories they were telling. And then Carla Boov, actually, I don't know if you know this story, but Carla Boov no, was Sam Kinison's best friend. Right. And he, he found out years later that Sam Kinison had slept with his wife. No and shit. that, and that the child he was raising was actually Sam's. Oh my god! After Sam died, I know. Could you believe that? Wow. Meanwhile, how could he not fucking know that kid had to have been fucking ugly as shit? <laughs> oh god, have you seen Sam Kennison? <laughs> an ugly motherfucker. I know. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, well, that would have been the I'm first I'm trying to move. tell you, that sure beats the little Animal House story you told last time. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this one's a lot different than the last one. Hey, listen, I think we're going to run out of time. Let me stop the recording. Uh, and we'll do another one as soon as you want. I got to stop the recording because I'm, I'm a cheap bastard. I only have the free version of Zoom. Me too. All right. All right. We Somebody. Oh, Jesus, there, Edith. <laughs> Hang Hi. on. Let me stop the recording. Oh, Archie. Oh, Archie. Listen, let me tell you there, meathead. <laughs> <laughs>